And it's so sad because her mom tried to get in touch with her the day that she died. Officials say that officers arrived at a home on Caney Creek Road and found a woman dead inside the cabin. The sheriff's office says victim Shelby Booth and the man had come to Gatlinburg from Southern Carolina, South Carolina rather. We're hearing from the mother of a woman police say was killed by her boyfriend while vacationing in Tennessee. An investigation linked the shooting to 21 year old Julian Papaka who was staying at that cabin. He's now charged with second degree murder according to Sevier County officials. Sevier County, the grand jury there indicting Julian Papoka with one count of first degree murder. That's a more severe charge than the second degree murder Papoka first faced after his arrest. Papoka admitted to deputies he shot his girlfriend during an argument. We're going to keep following this one as it moves through court. I can't, I can't protect her anymore. There's nothing else I can do. Hey, look here, y'all. My mom's a little raised one goddamn cocaine sniffing, twisted tea drinking, fat bitch fucking, pit viper wearing motherfucker. Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a murder that happened in Gatlinburg of May of 2022. A man from Bowling Springs, South Carolina just totally confessed to killing his girlfriend while they were staying in a cabin in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Shelby Booth was only 26 years old and she was also from Bowling Springs, South Carolina. She was shot and killed in this rental cabin and it's so sad because her mom tried to get in touch with her the day that she died. This was the weekend of May 7th, 2022. The Sevier County Sheriff's Office said that they arrested Julian Popoka and he was only 21 so he was several years younger than she was. It's crazy because she actually told people that if something has ever or would possibly ever happen to her, then to look at him because it would probably be him that would end up hurting her or even killing her. When they arrested him, they charged him with second degree murder. And her childhood best friend came out and said that he was trying to get in touch with her, that just nobody can get in touch with her. And then he said that he was scrolling on Facebook and saw that she had been killed. Another one of her friends said that he spoke to her literally like 20 minutes before she got killed. He said that she was just acting totally normal and literally he never saw this coming. I don't think any of her family or anybody did, but you know, she did warn people that he was a dangerous person. The sheriff's office got a call around 1 p.m. on May the 8th. It was her boyfriend confessing that he had killed her. He shot and killed her in cold blood. What happened was they were arguing. I guess he thought that was the only way to get out of the argument or for her just to stop arguing with him is to shoot her and kill her. So when her friend was scrolling through Facebook and saw that she was killed, he also saw the boyfriend's mugshot. And at this time, he didn't even realize that it was Shelby that he killed. He told his family and friends, he said, hey, that's Shelby's boyfriend. He's killed somebody. They didn't even know that it was her. Her family and friends said that she was kind-hearted and nice to everybody, just a genuine good person, that she just loved to laugh and that she got along with everybody. And her mom fought for justice for her as soon as this started. She still to this day, you know, wanting to get the word out, trying to prevent this from ever happening again to anybody. I can't, I can't protect her anymore. There's nothing else I can do except for make sure that what happened is taken care of in the right way to do justice. Booth's mother described her daughter as full of life and a very warm person. Popoka is in jail in Sevier County. Her childhood friend that I spoke about said that she was full of life, that she just loved to be with people. And her ex-husband also spoke out about this. He said that he thinks that she might have just took a wrong turn in life, that she was a great person, and he just thinks that she got involved with the wrong crowd. She got mixed up with this guy Julian and it turned out fatal for her. He said even though that was his ex-wife that they remained friends and that she was just such a good person and still so good to him even though they had their issues, he was still trying to help her in life and she was the same way to him. The sheriff's office held Julian at the county jail so he had to wait for his arraignment and they actually ended up turning this to first degree murder instead of you know the prior second degree murder charge that he had when he was first arrested. Her mom said that even though she can't protect her anymore that she's still going to take routes and do things to where this can never happen to anybody else again. She wants to make sure that Julian when he's sentenced that he gets life. She wants him to have life in prison. And the fact that this happened a year ago 
and he still hasn't been sentenced. I just think it's crazy how they have to wait all this time, you know, sometimes because he straight up admitted to killing her. He confessed to the cops. I just wish there was more details released about it. Like, I, you know, I bet it will be, you know, regarding their argument and things like that. But there's just some deeper issues apparently on, on his side of things. It's so sad. You know, her mom said that she'll never be able to talk to her again. She'll never be able to call her again. And I just don't understand how people can just take like another life so easily, it seems like. Like what other options did you have besides shooting her and killing her during an argument? That's somebody that's not mentally stable. You cannot just resort to that when you're arguing with somebody. Her mom said that she has experienced every type of emotion from sadness to anger to just complete rage. And I can imagine losing your kid knowing that this man totally influenced them on the choices they're making in life and just them being totally consumed with just this negativity and it just is really sad. I hope she gets justice. I hope her mom pursues everything she can to get justice for her daughter and just for her family. I want to remind you guys about my Patreon. As cheap as $5 a month, you can join, you can support me as a content creator, and you get your name shout out in my video. And that link is down in the description if you're interested in that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing a future giveaway here soon, so stay tuned for that, and don't forget to catch my next video. Motherfuckers, goddamn look here, bro. We got her goddamn fuck eating it. Look here, motherfucker. Look, if you ain't got the 7 Eleven bag, where the fuck are you at, baby? <laughs> where the fuck are you at, baby? <laughs> hey, look, baby. Hey, yeah, hillbillies out here in goddamn South Carolina, baby. You don't know how to do this shit. Boy, we out here looking shit out of these bitches' crevice assholes. Look at that asshole, bitch. <laughs> Come on, mama. Hey, bubba. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you like it? Yeah, Bobby. You like yeah, oh, like yeah. you like you on your big stuff first, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Papi Chulo. Oh yeah, you like? Oh yeah, Papi yeah, Chulo, you like? oh, yeah. 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 first go on, Papi Chulo, on Chimichanga. Oh, slow, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We win, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, so, um, uh, what do you call uh, two Mexicans and a white boy fucking? What? What? A quesadilla? Ha! Knee slapper, baby! <laughs> hey, look here, y'all. My mother done raised one goddamn cocaine sniffing, twisted tea drinking, fat bitch fucking, pit viper wearing motherfucker! This is just a friendly reminder to take your medicine, eat your food, drink some water, and bang a dude. Look, man, I'm about to learn y'all some what. No shit. You fucking propped out with cake, huh? You put that shit on a cracker, dude. I'm not gonna eat that because you know why. So we hydrate. Man, y'all want no feel so hard to eat a fat bus pussy. You gotta smack a couple times, baby. <laughs>